Hello and welcome guys to more Pokemon Red Nuzlocke. Uh, continuing on with the grind sessions because I need my Pokemon up to speed. Some of them, they're, they're good. Some of them I feel confident enough that I can, you know, go through Victory Road, no problem. Or I'd be able to go through Victory Road and then back out in case I need to heal them up and then go through Victory Road more and be able to take care of it, no problem. But others, not so much. Namely, Pure and Mode. Pure and Mode. Uh, those two are the ones that I'm having the most trouble with. I also need to get Pazoo up to speed, because Pazoo is level 40. But just taking care of all the other stuff and trying to get the lower level ones up to the higher ones so that way then they at least have a fighting chance is something that I gotta focus on. And I, d I don't want to keep on going back and... Like, I'm stuck here in the mansion and I'm thinking about going to... Um, going to the actual... Uh, going over to the Diglett Cave, but I don't know. The experience here is good. The Pokemon seem to be alright here, and like, I could pop it out, and then I could switch over to someone else, but someone else has got to take the hit. I mean, I could keep leveling up Cole, but I wanted to try and like level up other ones along with it, so I think that's just, I'm gonna have to keep doing that. I don't know, I, I feel very indecisive. <laughs> Even though he can critically kill Pony's house and just take care of it, Mo can still get some good leveling experience. I think it would I think it would be better if I just stayed in this area. Like Diglets they gave around 200 experience if you were the only one fighting them. But he's still pretty weak. But the problem is like there's poison Pokemon here as well. So that that starts the whole thing of like dealing with the poison types and trying to take care of them because I don't have a psychic type that can actually do it. I do have Pokemon that do have I do have a Pokemon that has a psychic type attack, which is pure, but pure can also be damaged very quickly by it. So yeah, like I'm indecisive. I'm very indecisive on this right now. And it's just like I'm just trying to find like the fastest, most optimal way of actually taking care of this, and I think I've got it. I don't know. I'm just trying to get this done as quickly as possible so I can progress. <laughs> Does yeah. I also, I, I basically, I know a lot of people won't even see this, but I actually took like a stop to uploading stuff onto YouTube so I could take care of this, because also too, this, um, Pokemon Red here. I do have the cartridge, but I don't have the recording software to properly record my cartridge. So I was able to go online, and I was able to go ahead and find the game online and be able to play it and enjoy it. So that's one thing right there. But also too, um, once once I'm done playing this game and I turn off the website, there's no way for me to get back my Pokemon or even see this. So. Once this is done, they're completely gone forever, which sucks. But it's still one hell of a journey. I, I just, like, I'm just going through all this stuff and just thinking about it and all this jazz. Yeah, the experience here is good too, though, so I guess I'll stay. It's just, I, I want them to level up faster. <laughs> that way then I can progress and just not be able to keep grinding, because I know some people wouldn't enjoy grinding, and just uploading these videos like once a day, it, it seems like a very big hassle, and no work is being done, it seems, and you want to progress in the game, I, I get that, people would want to see that, but I also need to take time to grind, so I'm having like this big list of like grind sessions uploaded once a day, and it's going to be almost for like a whole week that I'm going to be doing that. Uh-oh. And it, that sucks, because people want to see progress. And I, I get that. I, I know they don't want to sit here and watch me grind. That's why I always say when I have grind sessions, you know, if you don't want to watch, feel free not to. But I gotta do it. And also, too, I'm guessing people are asking the question, like, why am I uploading grind sessions? Um, well... So that way then I can prove that I'm not cheating, I guess, in a Nuzlocke sense. 
um, maybe I have something interesting to talk about, but also to, you know, it's just uploaded to show the progress, because you should always be showing progress in some way, shape, or form. And just going through that, if I have interesting stuff, the past grind sessions too, I've used them to just get stuff off my chest, stuff that I hate, that I see people doing in YouTube and all this other crap. But also too, I enjoy the grind sessions where I enjoy grinding and leveling up my Pokemon and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm, o I'm okay with it, but I'm just also concerned whether or not people would enjoy it. That That's like my thing, so... Like, that's the reason why I always say, like, hey, this is a grind session, if you don't want to watch it, feel free not to do so, but also, too, I just, I also want to make progress, and I hate Ponytas. Have I ever told you that? They just, they, they almost killed Pure. They, they get in the way. But they are good experience. I'm not gonna lie, they are excellent experience. Yeah, but the plan is just, like, trying to get the Pokémon up to speed. Get, get them strong. Get them going. See what the stats are. There you go. And slowly but surely, attack and defense on Pure are going up. Although, I've been feeding Pure a ton of vitamins. Yeah, give me coughings. Give me coughings. There you go. At least my speed is faster than coughings, so that's good. And they are good experience. Yeah. If I was able to get a Psychic-type Pokémon in this game, I would have swept through this no problem. In hindsight, maybe I should have used Lola. Maybe I should have. But... I mean, I'm already going this far. And some people might call it out that this isn't also a traditional Nuzlocke because Pure wasn't the very first Pokemon that I saw and caught. But just like the feel and the emotion when I was going through the Safari Zone because that's when I lost Inject and I tried everything to get Pure away from me. I chucked rock after rock after rock and just it would not go away. So it, it just felt like it was the right thing to bring Pure along. And I would like Pure to be a part of it because it just feels like it's also a reminder of that time. And just the Pokedex data off of Pure as well, you know, like, an extremely rare Pokemon. People, uh, people who catch them say that they have nothing but pure happiness, and that was something that I needed right after losing a Pokemon that I wanted to bring with me all the way to the Elite Four. So, that's why I'm trying to make Pure strong and be a part of the team. Just because of that moment, because now when I see Pure, I just it reminds me of that moment when playing the game too, which it, it's a good feeling too, because it was like that was that was it felt emotional to me, so I really enjoyed that, and I, I feel I feel like that's something too that you know a lot of YouTubers or a lot of Let's Players need to like have a focus on too, like the emotional aspect or like the stuff that's going on in game. But a lot of times it just feels like also too where it's just like, look at me, listen to me, it's all about me. When it's like, no, you know, it's also about the games that you're playing too. If you love these games, you should go ahead and embrace them too. But if you're playing these games just because they're popular, it shows that you're not the type of YouTuber that you should be watching. And yeah, I get it, everyone's just trying to make their start in here too, but you know, you should also be trying to come up with good content. You should be trying to play the games that you enjoy yourself. And, you know, hey, I'm not saying that, you know, you should flat out, like, abolish other games too, but give them their, give them their just rewards, or give them their just desserts, you know? Let them, let them be a part of, like, what you're trying to do as well. Not just, like, if you're bored with a game, then you should just stop playing it. But if you really like a game, like, I love Pokemon, like, you know, if I wanted to, and if it, if it was up to me, I would be doing, like, uh, I would have a hundred videos. Of, of this Nuzlocke run, and I would be doing nothing for like the next 20 videos of doing nothing but absolutely grinding. I would literally do that, but also too, I want to just make sure that there's also progress for the sake of progress. That's why I'm also like, okay, I need to make sure that they're strong enough to about maybe this point, and then I can progress in the game. 
that's the type of stuff that I also want to do because it's like, I get it, some people don't really like this, you know, and I understand it. Even though no one is watching these videos, it seems. Or like, not, not that many people are watching it, and the reason why is because I am just starting out as a Let's Player. I am literally just starting. <laughs> And it's not like people get a big fanfare when they first start out, or a lot of people try it out because no one wants to, like, I don't know, maybe there's like a stigmata of, like, no one wants to see what a new Let's Player is going to do because, one, there's so many Let's Players out there already that have gotten their foot in the door who are already way more popular, way more successful at this. So they would just watch them over someone just trying to start out, especially if, you know, they're not that good or they don't really have an understanding of what they're trying to do. So why would you, like, support them or even watch them? Because you could always just watch someone that knows what they're doing or got their act together, so to speak. Um, but yeah, it's just stuff like that too, but, you know, I'm playing these games, I'm enjoying them, and I'm just having a good time. But I also understand, I want to progress. You know, like, right now though, this is like a means to an end, like, I need to level up to end the game. But yeah. Well, it's like, I honestly understand, too, like, the stigma of people not wanting to watch a YouTuber that's just starting out, too, but also, too, like, yeah, I, I fully understand it, because sometimes you just feel like they're not really into it as well. Like, some of the, some of the YouTubers that I've already seen and the ones that really annoyed me because they're just trying to do the sub-for-sub -sub bullshit, I absolutely hate that. I absolutely hate that. It is just... Ridiculous. It's shameful. It's something where it's just like, how could you look at yourself in the mirror when you're just trying to do this stuff? And also, too, I understand, like, yeah, you're trying to get people to come to you to actually watch your content, but you shouldn't be doing it with scumbag tactics, okay? You should be the type of genuine person that you are. You know, it's funny, too, because, like, the one thing that it reminds me of is just, you know, PewDiePie himself saying to just be yourself while doing this. But it also feels a bit hypocritical, because also, too, it seems like he was also one of the fakest YouTubers while doing this, too. Yelling, screaming, doing stupid antics. But since now he's got a fan base and a following, he's telling people to be themselves. So it feels very hypocritical in that sense. But still, it's just like, I understand like the whole thing of be yourself, and I try and keep that to me when I'm actually doing this, even when I'm starting. Okay, I don't, I don't want to be the person that's going to make, like... A million, or I don't want to be the person that's going to get a million views every single video, no matter what it is that I do, and then not be able to look myself in the mirror and either be proud of what I am or what I've accomplished or what I've done. Especially if I'm just playing through a game and I instantly know people are going to like it whether or not I care about the game or not. And that's something that I really do hate, because I'm trying to do this not because it's the easy money, it's something that I enjoy. And if I could somehow come across also being genuine, as well as also giving people a good video to watch, and not just like a flash in the pan video that's just like, this is a popular game, go watch this video, it's fun. It's just like, no, I want to make sure that what people get, no matter what they watch my videos, is the exact same. I, I want to work with quality over quantity. That's really what it is. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm doing this, too. Because, you know, sweet, man, Pure's getting a ton of leveling. So, yeah, that's that's really what I want to do. And is above all, I don't want to come off as, like, an either being, like, an idiot for the sake of the camera or just coming off as, like, an asshole that doesn't care about this. You know, like, yeah, I'm gonna come off as an asshole already, but I want to make sure that I'm an asshole that cares, <laughs> if you understand that concept. But, yeah. <laughs> just keep on moving through this and just working with us. Progress. I, I think Pure's finally hit some stride right there, thanks to having having uh, Psychic finally able to make some leeway. Oh, heal up the Pokemon. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> Pokemon 
Zeugnisse. I really love it if uh, Pierre learned Minimize, because should be learning Minimize very soon. There you go, switch. And now Pierre is just like on a freaking steamroll, so that's pretty good. Steamrolling through those levels. Yep, Bonitaire! Still not faster than a level 34 Ponyta, though. But, like, fire attacks, no problem, but I think stomps, which are like physical attacks, are still a problem. I could have used a bomb. There you go. Just quickly get through those levels. That's awesome. I wish Mode would be able to do that, too, but. Oh wow, it's like the first Growlithe I've seen in a long time. But, yeah, like mode right now, still trying to get in the game. <laughs> there you go. How's it about... Oh, Egg Bomb. Oh. Egg Bomb wasn't strong enough? Hmm. Oh, ouch. Well, <laughs> here, time to switch out for mode. Yeah, I also gotta get Pazoo up to speed. Ah, ooh, Ponyta, it's fun! Please don't kill! Surf! There you go. Ooh, so close. Just do another surf. Yeah, tail whip all you want. Just don't hit me. Bam. Yeah, I really do like mode. I like Kabuto. The reason why I like Kabuto so much was just when I played this as a kid, um, Kabuto's name was like so close to like my actual name or like my last name, more to be more precise. And it's like, oh, that was always the cool moment in, as a kid when you see like something that's that's like you, or like you see something that's like resembles you closely. It's just like, oh, that is so cool. I, I guess that was my kid moment, especially with Kabuto. But then on top of that too, Kabuto just looks freaking awesome because who doesn't love horseshoe crabs? And that's what it looks like. And when it evolves, it looks like a super tough horseshoe crab. There you go. Nice level thirty-two. Alright, slowly up in the leveling. Bazoo needs to level up. Ugh. Yeah, core things are fine. Hit with a bite. Bam. Let's go. Nice. There we go. Give me more pony times to kill. I want Bite to start flinching. Or getting in one shot, either way. God, everything's getting burned. I'm just happy though burned isn't like poison. Yeah. This is like the perfect training ground though for ground types and psychic. Too bad I don't have a psychic. Man, if I had a psychic, I'd be sweeping through this super fast. But I was happy too when I had inject. Still wish I could have kept him along, I just didn't foresee Koga blowing him up. That was literally someone having a temper tantrum and just saying no more and just 
<laughs> ending it. Koga literally had a temper tantrum. Yeah, keep on leveling up. Probably head out and go heal up again. Wing attack. Yeah, I should stick to Bite. Bite has the most attack damage. You know, I'm surprised though that, like, Ratatata or Raticate doesn't have Bite. There you go, maybe some Leash Life so I could get a little bit of health back. I wish Leash Life was stronger. I mean, I, did, I didn't need the Leech Life to be, like, super strong, like they put it in Pokemon Sun and Move, where it's just like 80 damage and 100% accuracy. No, it could have been more... it could have just been upped a little bit. It could have been, like, Absorb, and where Absorb is just, like, 40, 40 damage and, like, 100% accuracy. And that would have worked out perfectly fine, then, for Leech Life. Like, 20% is kind of okay-ish. But, like, you should treat, treat Leech Life as the bug version of Absorb. That's what it should have been. And if they wanted, like, an another really strong one, because you have, like, Absorb, um, Mega Drain, and then, like, Giga Drain, they could have had, like, um... They could have had, like, um... Leech Life be 40%. Um... Leech, um... Uh, and then it would be like Leech Drain or something like that, and it would do like the 80% damage. Or it would do the 80 damage then or something like that, or even the, just the 60 damage. Because then there's Leech Life and then there's just like a Leech Drain or something like that. You can just do that. That would work out perfectly well. There you go. Hold on, my Pokemon. Heal them back up. Bum, 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 bum. There you go. Pokemon are fighting fit. There we go. And here we go. Time to end this again. I'm sorry, but here's my team. I've got Pazoo, my Golbat. Yard, my Dugtrio, Watt, my Electabuzz. Mode, my Kabuto. We got Cole, which is my Charizard. And Pure, which is my Chansey. I'm gonna put Pure up to the very top because Pure is actually rolling in uh, attack and damage. <laughs> But I'm going to end it right here and just say, hey, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Have a good one, and game on. See ya.